time online. I'm Yo Dawson and today's project is this little Easter card or it could be a birthday card whatever you wish and we've got our little chicken coop here with our little chicken inside and our mesh across the front. Now my main piece of card measures 13 centimetres by 17 centimetres and I'm just going to fold this in half. I also have a piece of gold paper here and that is just a 5 centimetre square. I'm going to use my glue stick to tape this gold piece down to the front, the bottom front of my card. Now next I have a scrap of cream coloured card and I'm going to use a black ink. I'm using my black stays on but it could just as easily be a black Versafine stamp pad. I'm going to stamp this into the middle of my piece of cream card and then I'm going to colour in. This is a very easy colouring in job. The only bit I'm going to actually highlight is an orange beak there using my number seven La Plume pen and then I'm going to just cut around the outside of this image. That's my little chicken ready to go. Now before I adhere him onto my card I'm going to put some of my fusible fibre, my light green fusible fibre just on his little nest there. Now I find the easiest way to stick this down is using some of my sticky dots. And these are extra strong little dots here. I'm going to peel the back of one of these little dots and stick that dot right into the middle of my little gold piece of card. And then just stick a bunch of fusible fibre into the middle of that sticky dot. Now I probably don't need quite that much so what I'm going to do is just peel a little bit of excess away. We only need a small highlight. There we go. We'll cut that excess away a little later. Then again I'm going to take my little chicken. I'm going to use another one of my sticky dots. Put that right into the middle of the back of my little chicken. and stick my little chicken straight over the top of my fusible fibre. Now I'm going to put my embossing mesh. This you can just buy by the meter from our website. I'm going to place this straight across the top of my chicken and right across the front of the card. I'm going to just chop off the excess, the sides to fit. Okay. And then also to tidy up this image, I'm going to trim away that excess fusible fibre. There we go. Now I'm ready to put my roof on my little chicken coop here. And I've got a piece of dark red ribbed or corrugated card and that's three and a half centimeters high by 15 centimeters wide and I'm going to stick this straight on to the front of my card. I've got some nice strong double-sided tape here, two lengths will do the trick and place center this right over the top of the card. Now this is going to stick out the outside of the card. But I'll flip this over to the back and just trim from the top of the card down to that point of the roof line. 
just to angle the sides of the roof. Two final touches to this card. One is I need to take my little Happy Easter stamp, which I'm going to stamp onto a little piece of blue card that matches my main card. And on this one here, I've just put a piece of double-sided tape. And I'm going to stick my little sentiment there across the front of the card. And I also have two little offcuts of my embossing mesh as a little highlight also on the front of my card. That's my Easter card complete. On this version, I've put the little words make a wish instead. So this could just as easily be a birthday card rather than an Easter card. As always, you can contact us on our website craftingaround.co.nz. We'll see you next time.